Hey, how's it going? Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your business manager, Facebook business manager, uh, be it you are running any, any type of business, right? E-commerce, e uh, lead generation, app installs, right? Uh, just take these principles and then put it into your business manager so that in terms of organization and stuff, you can save, save a ton of time as well as like you can really make uh, your data decisions, scaling, testing very, very easily, right? So that you're able to actually set up uh, your stuff uh, very easy. And anybody who, who comes into the business manager, for example, if you need to hire someone and then they take over right and then they understand exactly what what the heck is happening by just clicking around uh, a bit okay so uh, organization is very important let me just get right into it and let me just show you as well okay so if you see here uh, this is uh, just one of the ad accounts right for example um, how I do it is okay so for example this one is an e-commerce uh, e-commerce account okay so just keep that in mind okay so if I scroll to the right here can you see uh, how my columns are actually um, being um, what's it called scheduled and stuff so I always start on the right hand side is always the most bottom of the funnel metrics so it will be my, my purchase ROAS and the website purchase ROAS okay then afterwards um, going to the top of the funnel to cold traffic wise I'm going from purchase to check out the website check out add to carts add to carts and then content view content view okay the reason why is that is, is so is because I want to see from a pure perspective right if I can just, just scroll uh, the data all the way to the left and the right I can see um, at one glance how much the drop off is at each stage of the funnel and to be fair facebook's conversion or and like the attribution wise is not very uh accurate but at least i can see some sort of data come through right so if i see some something is like uh if i for example here right there's no purchase coming in uh, no no data coming in at the moment right no add to cuts and whatever right then i can make a decision on whether i want to kill or, or what or or scale right so this one for example this this campaign right here right um there is no checkout but there is add to cart Right, so this tells me that there's something going on here and probably I just need to uh, drag it out a lot more and spend uh, a bit more money right here just to test, right? Okay, so as I scroll to the left, it's more top of the funnel stuff. So everything from link clicks, okay? I like to um, also choose cost per unique link click and like the cost per click, cost per link click doesn't matter to me at all, right? What matters is how much I'm paying uh, to get uh, the cost per unique link click, okay? And then obviously um, there are minor issues as well, so uh, minor other metrics such as conversion rate ranking, engagement rate, rate, rate uh, rate ranking as well as quality ranking so these things even though I put it in like sometimes I don't even use them okay so and, and the reason why is because like if there's purchase right I, I couldn't care less I, I don't care about the ranking if there's purchase at this point in time right so it just is all about top of the funnel all the way to the right to the bottom of the funnel and this is the only metric I see at, at the end of the day okay so in this case in this situation here like even though for example here the cost per cost per uh, unique link click is very high right but if, if I scroll to the right and see what's happening okay that's one purchase okay so let's let's see and write it out uh, as it's still in the testing phase right so that, that's how I look at numbers and you kind of make your decision from there okay and obviously cost per result is super important okay uh yeah so um you can see like very very simple stuff right like if I go to a, a lead generation for example Okay, so for example, if I go to a, a, a lead generation account, lead, lead generation campaign, you just want to use the same uh, principles uh, that I've, I've talked about just now. Okay, so everything from on the left-hand side, it should be um, top of the funnel metrics and then to the right is all uh, you, uh, bottom of the funnel metrics. Okay, so if I go into my, um, this one, can you see here, I'm using a custom conversion at uh, cost, cost per unique link click and then cost per landed on opt-in page. So this is my uh, outbound like right my, my, my cost per, per link click and then um, cost per landed on opt-in page so this one is my like uh, view content basically my view content on my my opt-in and then obviously this is my cost per, per lead cost per lead and this is cost per application call and cost per uh, result okay so like at one glance I can see you can see yeah uh, okay see 623 okay you can, can you see how like Facebook sometimes the attribution is a bit off so that's why uh, you gotta like uh, keep that in mind okay so for example 672 uh, a lead opt-in so I see it's around what a thirty percent opt-in rate, something like that. All right. Then afterwards, seventy-seven to two four nine is probably a, a less than thirty percent opt-in rate uh, from each step, and then seventy-seven to twenty-four is there. Okay. So this is why it's really important to be um, organized, right? Organized in in your metrics and seeing your data, so that at one glance you can see what to do and what to do next, right? Because the more time you're spending in in business manager, the less time you're spending on improving the creative and stuff. Okay, uh, that's pretty much it. This is one of the questions that someone has asked me. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, please put them down in the comment section below. And then uh, I will just definitely take your advice and stuff. And then I'll just create a video around that as well. Okay, so uh, that's pretty much it. And um, let, let me know how it goes. Uh, yeah, okay.